Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create a building like this using our procedural building generator. The first thing to do is to create a prefab from our procedural building generator. Create a, your folder where you want to store your prefabs and right click on it and select blueprint class. Come to all class and search for procedural building generator and select it. Give your prefab a name like PPG SFG building and save it. Now drag and drop it in the level. You should get something like this. Now let's see the mesh that we'll be using. The first level is one, this one, and for your information, PVG don't need to search this type of mesh, so we'll just hide head them. Okay. Now select your PVG, your PVG, or your prefab, and go to Four Block Manager. Make sure that you expand it and set its name to Entrance Level One. A block manager allows you to organize your part of your building. For example, you can have a, man a block manager of entrance of the floor 1 and floor 2 and so on. So, the first thing to do is to create a mesh PP list so we can store our mesh. Go here and click the folder that you called mesh BP list. And right click on it and go to miscellaneous and select data table. Now search for mesh pp list and select pbg mesh pp list. Call it entrance dt underscore entrance mesh pp list. Now open it. The first thing you will see is that it is a blank. It is a blank slate. You have to click on a add to add a new row. Name it, for example, entrance. You have to provide the mesh that PPG will use. Notice that we have a left corner mesh, a right corner mesh, a wall mesh, pillar mesh, and a door mesh. We set them. We set any appropriate mesh into its its own section. We start by the right mesh. Click on it and click on the plus sign right next to the right corner mesh to add a new slot. Expand it. You will see any slot a, a slot named mesh. That is where you set your mesh, and you can also set the pivot type. We mark that the pivot is set in the middle of the mesh, so it is a bottom middle. Now we need to set the mesh here. Just take your mesh and set it here. Save it. Now we need to do the same thing for the left corner. The left corner is any corner that have inward angle, like this one. So. You need to set it here too. Notice that you can have more than one corner or left corner mesh. You can add multiple. So let's add this one too. Same thing for the right mesh. Let's add this one here. Now save it. You have to add the wall mesh too. Click on the plus sign here to add a new slot. Expand it. You can see that you have an array of mesh. Click on it to add a new more. And you got the same thing like here. Now you have to provide your mesh to be used here. Let's take a look at this building. You can see that we have a right corner mesh. Then we have this mesh. So you have to provide this mesh then. Provide it here. 
then we have this mesh following click on the plus sign here for the wall mesh to add the new slots we'll come back at the index of the view i will explain you how we how why we have to add multiple index expand it and add it here then this one is a door mesh we can just add it from wall mesh or you can use the door mesh to add it so click on the door area and expand it and to add a new slot a mesh slot and provide it here now come back to the wall mesh click on the plus sign and we need to add this one because that is the second thing that we add this one then this one then this one then this one to complete the shape of the building so expand it and add it here notice that the the, the pivot is set to a left corner so we it is, see why it is set to left corner here you can change the pivot type to right corner or bottom line depending on how your mesh pivot is set now save it when you have done this go to control browser and select the mesh pp entrance list come to your prefab expand it and come to floor mesh floor mesh pp expand it and set it here now you can see that let's move the you can see that we have this kind of building now it is now time to set up the grammar that will be used to describe how the mesh should be placed to do so we come to our content browser and click a new folder that we name grammar list right click and go to miss myself notes choose data table and search for grammar list pbg grammar list and name it tt entrance grammar list open it and add a new arrow a new row now where do you expand it you can see that let's give it an entrance grammar when you expand it you can see that we have only one slot that and you, that's where we want to create our grammar to make it safe for you to understand how it works notice that we want this one to come first then this one then this one and then this one so to do that we just use we start with this this one and write w w stands for wall and uh, this wall is located at the index zero so we set wall zero then this wall is located at the index one then we write wall one and this one is located at door index zero and we write d zero now we need at the end we have to have this one and he is located at the wall index two so that we add the wall two now our grammar is completed what it means is that it will just take any mesh that is this in this index here wall index one zero then then wall index one then uh, door index zero and then wall index two so let's see how we can add our grammar here go to a counter browser select your grammar and come to floor block manager and go to floor grammar data table and set it here now you can see that we place it like we like we wrote our grammar you can see that we have world zero world one door zero and world two 